stars. Kenya Barris details plan for The Wizard of Oz in Inglewood. This is what we know. Kenya Barris has been working hard on his Wizard of Oz script for years. Here's everything we know about the film so far. Kenya Barris has a long history of developing complex black stories for modern audiences, with such hits under his belt as Blackish, Grownish, and Kid Cudi's animated adventure Intergalactic, spelled with an E, which premiered on Netflix in 2022. For several years now, the acclaimed writer has been developing a modern adaptation of the classic 1939 film The Wizard of Oz, with plans to set the story in Inglewood, California. Kenya Barris originally tried to purchase the rights to an adaptation of The Wiz, though the IP is currently entangled in the upcoming Disney Plus outing of Wicked. Instead, Barris has partnered with Warner Brothers to provide his take on the age-old musical. This project serves as one of many upcoming outings from Barris, as the writer has also signed on to helm a remake of the Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life, as well as a Richard Pryor biopic. I feel like we've been hearing about Richard Pryor biopics for years. Am I hallucinating or was Damon Wayans in charge of one and then there was another one and then we never saw any <laughs> any of them? Am I, am I wrong? Though specific details are scant on the upcoming Wizard of Oz remake, here's what we know about the musical so far. While the original Wizard of Oz famously takes place on a farm on the Kansas prairie, Kenya Barris shifted the project to a more familiar modern landscape. In this new iteration, Dorothy will live in the Bottoms, a massive low-income housing project in Inglewood, California. Per Barris, the film will take the existing themes of the original film and the 1900 children's novel on which the movie is based and renew them with a modern twist. Barris is not the first writer to recontextualize the IP as the Wiz set the events in Harlem. Barris explained the original Wizard of Oz took place during the Great Depression, and it was about self-reliance and what people were going through. I think this is the perfect time to switch the characters and talk about what someone imagines their life could be. It is ultimately a hero's journey. Someone thinks something's better than where they're at, and they go and realize that where they're at is where they should be. I want people to be proud and happy about where they're from, but I want the world to take a look at it, and I hope that will come through. So love the status quo. Interesting. The script was recently completed. Further, Kenya Barris has teased his Wizard of Oz film for years. Even I have friends who back, oh, I don't know, in the 2010s had their own Wizard of Oz script. <laughs> like, okay, he's teased this Wizard of Oz film for years, leaving some fans to question when, if ever, the film would finally arrive. Barris recently confirmed with Complex that he has completed the screenplay, signaling a significant advancement in the film's development. This suggests that the film is likely entering the early stages of pre-production. While Barris hasn't disclosed any information about the cast, the blackish creator has expressed interest in featuring a subversive lead, deviating from audience expectations. Deviating from audience expectations, Barris didn't name the mystery actor he had in mind, though he did specify, I know people feel like they know what we're going to do. So I do want to do something totally different. He made these comments in response to queries about potentially hiring one of his past collaborators, meaning we likely won't see any blackish or grownish leads in the film. There are several projects in the pipeline before Wizard of Oz. The film, despite completing the script and gearing up for casting, Kenya Barris has multiple projects set to premiere before the upcoming Wizard of Oz remake. Barris is listed as a producer on the upcoming Netflix original series, The Vince Staples Show, starring the eponymous rapper, as well as the Snoop Dogg and Mike Epps-led film, Underdogs with two G's 
As one of the hardest working creators in the industry, it's no surprise Barris has his hands full with so many projects. Regardless, more news about the casting and release of Kenya Barris's Wizard of Oz is sure to come in the next few months. Well, I hope it's Amber Riley. I love Fantasia, but I hope it's Amber Riley. I, I think justice would be done. And I think as a singer and a seasoned performer who's, you know, funny and sassy and enjoyed her, tic- her posts here on TikTok and on other platforms and her appearance on Jennifer Hudson, I'm appalled that she has had her voice talent ripped off by (laughs) lesser talents and it's time for our girl to shine normani would be a great option um you know there's some other singers in the mix but i feel like those two voices and sort of pop pop idol pop stars would be great choices and it would be a role that they could grow in and grow their careers from and that's long overdue let me think who you think should be cast in it but I know who I don't want to be in it 